everyone welcome back and a very good morning in this session today i'll be showing you how you can make a touch free doorbell so by touch free doorbell i quite literally mean touch free so you don't need to press the bell button anymore you just wave your hand in front of it and that's it so the purpose behind this project is as you all might know one of the most recommended precaution to take against the covid 19 is to maintain social distance and avoid contact with each other or strangers so what happens is whenever a person comes to our houses they the first thing that they do is they touch or press the doorbell and by doing so they are leaving the germs that were previously on their hands to the doorbell and the next time someone from your family presses the door doorbell the same germs gets transferred to their hands so to avoid this kind of situation we completely eliminate the need to press the doorbell itself so when there will be no need to press the doorbell no one will touch it and that's when no germs and everything will be transferred so without further ado let's get straight into it so let's talk about a little about the assembly so assembly is basically a smart lab which is based in n5 since december 2014 and it's been around over six years and we have provided around 250 free workshops. Now these workshops are categorized into three broad categories. So namely hack, code and data science. So hack is are the time kinds of workshop that like today's which include hardware, embedded systems, IOT, etc, etc. Code workshops are mainly focused, focused on software sides, dealing with APIs and gaming projects, making apps, etc. And data science is quite self-explanatory. All projects dealing with AI, machine learning, big data, etc, etc come under that category. Our target audiences are students, professionals and entrepreneurs. However, we welcome everyone who is interested in our videos or workshops and we focus on smart technology and practical application we like to provide practical applications and not just fun cool projects so you can know more about us on our forum which is members.theassembly.ae and also tag us on our social media handles which is on facebook twitter instagram and youtube as you can see on your screens so Let's get behind the working principle of today's project. So today's project basically the works on the principle of IR sensor. So we'll be using an IR sensor. So how an IR sensor works, it has two LEDs. One is the IR transmitter and the other one is the IR receiver. So the IR transmitter will generate IR infrared radiation and will be sending it out and those infrared radiation when an object comes close to it will get reflected and be detected by the other which is the IR receiver and based on the it does a calculation based on the received wavelength and wavelength of the radiation and it can then detect an object based on that. So this is how our project is going to work today. And so the parts list is quite very quite simple. You just need an Arduino Nano, uh, an infrared sensor, of course, uh, a relay module, and some jumper cables. And of course, you'll need a doorbell of, as well. Now, there is no particular reason to use Arduino Nano. However, I've just used it because it's small. And in case if you, you want it to, you want to mount it on, let's say, the doorbell casing itself. So that's why you can uh, I have used Arduino Nano however if you don't want to use it you can go ahead with Arduino Uno or Mega whichever one you have that's totally up to you. So this is the wiring diagram that we will be following and the wiring as you can see is quite simple so you don't need much of wires as well so it's basically very simple and we will just follow this and we will do that. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's begin with the wiring. So here we have the Arduino Nano board. So Arduino Nano, I have all the components over here, breadboard, 
an infrared sensor and the relay module now the relay module is connected to a buzzer for the purpose of this workshop but however it is the same principle if you connect it to any other electronics or let's say a doorbell for that matter so it, it will work exactly the same way so there's no difference in that this is just for demonstration purposes you can go ahead and connect it to the doorbell i'll also tell you what you need to do when you're connecting it to the relay so we'll do that and one thing to notice is there are different types of uh, infrared sensors out there in the market so this is probably one of the cheapest one and most common one that's out there you can also get a one which is like this so notice that this has three pins however this one has four pins so the fourth pin is for the enable and you can ignore it if you if you have this kind of sensor and you are trying to wire it but mo one thing that you'll notice is everyone every one of these infrared sensor has two of these leds one which is the transparent one is the uh, emitter and the other one the black one is the receiver so this basically generates the ir infrared radiation and this one detects it or uh, receives it the same goes for these type of so both of them are same so in this workshop we'll just be using this type of infrared sensors and yeah so let's get started so the wiring diagram is already there you can download it from the description below so we'll go ahead with the same thing so let's start by wiring our ground and vcc to the breadboard so let's connect the ground and vcc cables to the breadboard so this is uh, I'll use white for ground so this goes in over here and VCC this goes in over here and it's much better to have your ground and uh, power wires on the breadboard because it makes your Arduino nano board wiring much cleaner over there so the next thing that we want to do is we want to connect uh, our infrared sensor so the infrared sensor has three wires the ground wire the vcc and the out wire so the vcc will go vcc and the ground will go to the vcc and the ground of the arduino nano or the breadboard if you are using one and the out wire will wire it to d3 of our Arduino or D8 of our Arduino board sorry so let's just quickly do that so VCC goes to VCC ground goes to ground and finally we have the out cable which we will connect to D8 of the Arduino nano board and last thing so the wiring is pretty simple for today's workshop so we have this relay module now the relay module has again has three pins input ground and vcc so input will connect to one one of the pins on the digital uh, one of the digital pins on the arduino board and in this case you can connect it to anyone but i'll just go ahead and connect it to d3 because if even if you connect it to a different pin you'll just need to remember which pin you connected it to so that when we change it in i mean you will you'll have to change that in your code so okay I, let's move this here and put this there oops all right so i'm connecting the input pin to d3 of the arduino board so d3 is right there i just connect it there and the ground and vcc just go over to the breadboard the vcc to the vcc pin and the ground to the ground finally for the for connecting to the relay output so this has three out terminals over here so you want to connect to the one which says uh, open and not closed so the one which says closed is wired 
So, you are not connecting the negative terminal to the uh, relay, you are only connecting the positive terminal. So, one end of the positive terminal is connected to the center, uh, center terminal and one end, the other end of the positive terminal is connected to the device itself. So, in case you are using a doorbell, so what will happen is this will go to the, this wire will go to the switch or be the wire that goes to the switch and this is the wire that comes from the doorbell itself. So, basically you will have a, a single wire which is going from the doorbell to the switch, you will cut it from the mid between and you will place one end of it into the end that is coming from the bell in, into the, the uh, over here and the other one in the center. And now I will just connect both of these to the VCC and oh sorry one of these to VCC and the one the other one which is the negative terminal of the buzzer will go into the ground of the breadboard. But if you are using a doorbell you do not need to cut this wire at all you do not need to touch it just let it be you only need to deal with this which is the positive wire of the doorbell. So that is pretty much it for wiring, we are all set and let us just go ahead and connect it to our computer and let us type in the code. Okay, so let us start the coding. So go ahead and open up your Arduino IDE, create a new project and let us start typing it. So the code is pretty simple for today and it is not very complex at all. So, we will just go ahead and uh, so we connected two pins to two digital pins or uh, one for IR, the IR sensor and the other one for the relay. So, we will just go ahead and define them. So, define and I will name the IR pin as IR and whichever pin you connected it to. So, I connected it to pin 8 and also go ahead and define the relay. So, I will just name it relay and I connected it to digital pen 3. So, I wrote 3 and note, note one thing that whenever you are writing uh, or for digital pens you ignore the D How, however whenever you write uh, or let us say if you want if you had connected to analog pen you would say A capital A and then the pen number. Uh, just a small tip for you guys. And let us create the setup method and as you all might know setup method runs once when the code starts. And over here we are going to initialize the pin modes for our pins. So, the infrared sensor pin is going to input data from the infra infrared sensor that is why it is going to have an input of uh, I mean it is going to have a mode of input. And the other one the relay pin is going to output because we will get the input from the infrared sensor and based on the value of the infrared sensor we will send a signal to either turn switch on or off the relay. So, the pin mode for a relay is output. And uh, let us just begin the serial monitor so that I can show you guys what is actually happening when we are reading from the infrared sensor. So, that is it for our setup method. Now, we will head on to our loop method and write the code in there. So, let us create a void loop method, void loop, okay. And in here, I will print whatever we are getting from the infrared sensor so that you guys can know what is actually happening. So, serial dot print digital read and IR. And we will just add a delay so that we do not get so many readings just for the sake of it. And now this is the part where we actually do the cool stuff. So, we have go ahead and type an if statement. So, 
with the condition for the if statement is we will checking if the value of the infrared sensor is low then turn the relay module on. So, you will understand why I am saying low when we actually go ahead and look at the output from the serial monitor. So, you will actually notice when the infrared sensor does not detect anything the output is 1 and when it does actually detect uh, an object the output is 0. That is why we are saying that if the digital uh, if digital read at the IR sensor is equal equal to low then digital write relay and hi. So, this will essentially turn on the relay module. So, the relay module will only turn on whenever the infrared sensor detects an object in front of it. So, just when it the infrared sensor detects a hand or an object in front of it, it will turn on otherwise it will turn off. So, this basically means that your doorbell will only turn on when the infrared sensor detects an object and that is when someone waves or say something in front of that object. I mean the doorbell, the infrared sensor. So, we can also add an else statement. So, if there is no object detected, so then what we want to do is we want to turn off our relay. So, we want to digital write relay and low. Yeah, so that is all, that is the code for this touch free doorbell. So, that is it. This is so the first method is just a setup method and then we have the loop which turns on the relay when the infrared sensor is has actually detected an object. So, let us go ahead and plug our Arduino board in it or, or let us just first verify our code from here. Okay, so, it is done compiling we do not have any errors in our code. So, over here we have an infrared sensor, we plugged our nano board into it. So, as you can see the red from the red lights on the relay and the infrared sensor these means that the both the modules are working perfectly. So, the relay will the relay has two LEDs in this case a red one and a green one. The green one will light up when the relay turns on and over here the infrared sensor as well has two LEDs both of them are red in my case. So, the other one will simply turn on when it detects an object. So, let us go ahead and upload this code. So, it is uploading and it is done uploading. So, right now if I wave any if I keep my hand or it wave my hand in front of the infrared sensor it will sound the buzzer. And the buzzer will keep on sounding for as long as I keep my hand in front of the infrared sensor. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And another thing that you can note, you can adjust is you can see this small screw on top of the infrared sensor mode, infrared sensor. So, you can adjust this to adjust the different dis distance to which the infrared sensor can actually detect. So, if you want it to be very close to the infrared sensor you can actually change that from here. So, yeah that is pretty much it that is it for our today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos and projects like this and if you guys have any suggestions or projects that you would like to see uh, do not forget to write them in the comment section below and do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends so that they can also be safe in this uh, COVID-19 situation by making this amazing touch free doorbell. Till next time see you bye bye.